Today we're here with Mike Minix, who is the pastor at First Church Mechanicsburg. Uh, he's here to tell us about how they integrate youth into all of the activities that happen on a Sunday morning worship service. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Um, our producer, Jerry Wolgamuth, was very excited when he visited your church and saw that the youth and the children um, were so involved, even though it wasn't a specific youth Sunday. They were right. just involved on a regular Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, what all do you have them doing at your church? Well, we have the children and youth doing a variety of things. We really try to involve them in every aspect of the church's life. In, in worship, um, you'll always find a child um, uh, serving as acolyte. You'll find children on some Sundays, on particular Sundays, you'll find children or youth serving as ushers. Um, on communion Sundays, you may find children and youth um, helping with um, the service of Holy Communion. Um, in in um, every aspect of our church's life, we work to involve and include children. During Holy Week, we have a passion play that involves over 100 children. We just uh, did that for the 25th time this year. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, we, we work very hard to, um, to involve uh, the children and youth in um, the church's mission program, making sure they have some understanding and some involvement in the missions program. When the uh, uh, seventh and eighth graders are in the confirmation program, one of the aspects of that is that they must have an inside the church ministry project and an outside the church mission project as part of their confirmation experience. So uh, that that's kind of a more of a ministry internship than it is uh, the, the old traditional classroom um, confirmation or catechism training. Um, but in, uh, in virtually everything we do in, in um, all the aspects of the church's life, we, we're sensitive to the presence of kids and try to create an environment where children and youth feel that they are welcomed and free um, to participate and be involved. I really like how you worded that, that you said it's a ministry internship program. Yes. Um, what are some, why do the people at your church feel that it's really important to mentor them into ministry instead of just saying later in their life, you know, here, go take care of this program? Well, well w one of the reasons why we do that is that we've discovered that um, simply telling or teaching doesn't work. Um, it, it doesn't produce the kind of involvement and kind of excitement that many of the adults experience when they become active in a particular ministry or a particular program uh, or a particular outreach of the church. Um, the kids experience that same kind of excitement, doesn't matter how old they are. Um, um, and, and so giving kids the opportunity to do that, it, it, it will find some traction mm -hmm. um, with, with the kids just like it does with adults. Yeah, I think um, having hands-on ways that people uh, can get involved definitely makes them feel more interested in it and um, let it sink in a little bit more. Yeah, you know, and, and the other thing, Brittany, is, is, is creating um, an environment where, the, like I said, where the kids are welcomed and encouraged. I had a, uh, someone say to me one day, um, you know, we need to talk about worship and we need to talk about communion because, because things are tending to get a little bit noisy and out of hand and we just need to be more reverent at those times. And I said, you know, I, I want to give you a different model or a different way to think about that. Um, think about worship and think about Holy Communion like um, Thanksgiving dinner at Grandma's house. You know, it's, it's not quiet and peaceful and reverent. It, it's, you know, the kids are happy to be there, the adults, the, the conversation and, and people are laughing and talking, having a great time. That's the picture I want you to have for worship and particularly for Holy Communion. Um, and in that kind of a setting, um, the kids have a role to play. Uh, as do teens and adults. Um, and um, the, 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 uh, the purpose that we get together is to experience the joy of being together. Mm -hmm. And that's really as central as the meal is at Thanksgiving time. And I think that may be the way Jesus thinks about it too, even around Holy Communion, the joy of being there. 
uh, and being together is more significant even than the meal itself. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I just thank you for having that intentional effort to include the youth and the children in all aspects of your worship service. Thank you, we'll keep trying. <laughs> If you would like to learn more um, about First Church and their ministry, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. <laughs>